Hey guys, what's up? Demon Dog here uh, today with a review, a recap, and prediction video on Better Call Saul. And you see that it's a non metal video because I'm wearing a regular t shirt. And you know, with a beer right here, man, because it's hot as hell outside. Anyway, so Better Call Saul Season 5. Um, Amazing. Uh, just like Breaking Bad, they knew uh, what music to use, uh, the imagery, you know, imagery to show like metaphors and stuff like that. Like uh, there was this one scene where uh, Jimmy was looking at, um, at a corner, he was looking at some family, and then the wall made a uh, reflection. So it's like, um, this was Jimmy, uh, you know, um, like sneaking, uh, spying, and the reflection was Saul Goodman. You know, it's like, uh, light and dark, uh, the good side and the dark side and all that. That was the dark side of Jimmy. Oh, and the desert scene in episode 8. Spoilers, of course, but I don't need to say that because uh, no shit. So, um, in episode 8 of uh, the 5th uh, season, uh, Jimmy is going um, through a desert, you know, carrying money uh, to bail out um, Lalo Salamanca. Another cartel member, um, he, he doesn't come out in Breaking Bad, but, but he was mentioned. He was asking if uh, Walter and uh, Pinkman were sent by Lalo. So anyway, uh, yeah, he's carrying like uh, $7 million in cash um, in, in a bag. And... You know, he's there through the desert and all that stuff. And it's great imagery because it reminds you of uh, Ozymandias, uh, one, of the, um, the, uh, one of the three final episodes of Breaking Bad. Except that this was different since, uh, you know, Better Call Saul was a prequel and this was going on before the events of Breaking Bad. This was the beginning for uh, Saul. The end of Jimmy and the beginning of Saul, I guess. But, you know, in Breaking Bad, it was uh, the beginning of the end. The end for Walter White. The end for Heisenberg. Oh, and the acting is amazing. The acting is amazing. Uh, Tony Dalton, the guy who plays Lalo, a uh, really great villain, the best one. The best one in the entire <clears throat> Breaking Bad universe. Better than Gus Fring or uh, Todd Alquist. Uh, who, by the way, uh, they were always saying that they were, uh, like, really evil guys and all that stuff. But yeah, Lalo Salamanca, uh, really, uh, evil guy. Evil guy, smart and all that stuff. He knows how to, um, get his way and all that. Oh, and also the way he speaks Spanish, uh, perfect Spanish. Uh, let's say you're flipping through the channels and all that stuff. Uh, well, not really, because uh, not that many people have um, watch cable uh, anymore. But yeah, let's say, for example, um, you come across this uh, show. 
and you hear Lalo talking in Spanish, you're gonna think you're watching a, I don't know, one of those Mexican soap operas or something. It's, that's how good his Spanish is. And uh, I also loved all the appearances. Uh, really didn't care much about Hank Trader or Steve Gomez coming out. Because uh, I don't like those characters, never did. I was even happy when they died in Nazi Mandias. <laughs> But hey, relax, they're characters. I don't wish anything bad to happen to the actors or anything. So don't worry. Anyway, so. Yeah, there were some other cool appearances in season five. There was Herta Schuller, uh, the man who uh, committed suicide in Breaking Bad. Uh, when, you know, uh, Gus Fring died, his whole empire crumbled. <clears throat> then the police in Germany uh, were come, were wanting to interrogate him. And, you know, he locked himself up to kill himself. Still remember, like, open the Lisa tool. Open this door. So yeah, this guy comes out again. He's talking about the lab and all that stuff. So I guess now you uh, you can see uh, more of uh, more of him. Uh, know more about him. And I seen on the Breaking Bad wiki <clears throat> that for final appearance in Better Call Saul. There's still a blank, so maybe he'll come out in one more episode, maybe two more episodes, who knows. But yeah. Uh, so this season, I give it a 10 out of 10. Well, actually a 9, because, uh, you know, there were like one or two episodes where I'm like... Um, Hey, uh, where's the cartel action? Uh, where's the, where's the slip and Jimmy that we all know and love and, you know, all that? Okay, so next is, um, predictions. So stay tuned for that.